I'm Robert Estrin. and welcome to VirtualSheetMusic.com. Today's subject is the importance of subido piano in the playing of Beethoven. That's right, subido piano. What is subido piano? Why is this important in playing Beethoven? Subido piano means suddenly soft. Subido means suddenly. And this is a trademark of Beethoven's writing. A lot of times you'll see a crescendo going to piano, which seems counterintuitive. You expect a crescendo getting louder and louder to end up forte, loud, but no. With Beethoven, a lot of times he surprises you and a crescendo leads to a piano. Now, a lot of people see that and they think, oh, well, let's kind of smooth it over. He doesn't really mean that, does he? Well, absolutely he does. And in his music, if you make that sudden change after getting louder, it's extremely effective. There are so many examples of this. I want to call to your attention a piece that you're all familiar with, the first movement of the famous Moonlight Sonata. And there are a couple of examples in the first movement where, indeed, there's a crescendo to a piano. And listen how effective this is. It really creates quite a mood and an intensity. If I were to play it and kind of gloss over that subido piano, kind of ignore it and say, well, he didn't really mean it, you'd end up with this. Very milk toast, isn't it? It doesn't have that same energy. Listen to it the right way again, making the crescendo and suddenly get soft on the piano. It has a real attractive quality to it, doesn't it? Here's another example a little bit later in the first moon of the moonlight. Did you hear that? Here I'll do it without the subido piano so you can hear the difference. It doesn't capture your attention the same way, does it? Listen to it correctly again with the crescendo to the sumo del piano and notice the difference of the emotion it creates. So this is a lesson, not just in the Moonlight Sonata, but in countless works of Beethoven. Don't be afraid to be a little bit more angular in Beethoven than you might be in Mozart or Haydn. It's one of the things that separates Beethoven's music from earlier composers, that edge, that surprise element. Try it in your Beethoven playing and see how you like it. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Robert Esther here at virtualsheetmusic.com. I look forward to seeing you next time.